Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Erica Key. I am the US Global Hub Director of Future Earth, one of the co-conveners of the Sustainability Research and Innovation Congress series. Uh, we're very excited uh, that in 2023, we will be welcomed by Panama uh, as the host for the in-person event, um, bringing the world together uh, at the crossroads of the world in Panama. And we will be joined as well online by a global community um, that includes uh, two satellite events. I'm going to ask um, Natalia, can you please mute? Thank you. Um, we will be joined by two satellite events, one in Africa hosted by the National Research Foundation and another uh, spotlight event in Asia. Uh, stay tuned, others may come forward. But um, in the few minutes I have to welcome you, I would like to um, give you some history of why SRI. Uh, this is a transdisciplinary action forward sustainability convening. We try to avoid using the word meeting because it's so much more than that. So we hope that you will come and join us online or in person in Panama to conduct trainings, workshops, dialogues with stakeholders, demonstrate innovation and other sustainability forward action to meet with the public and funders uh, to discuss policy and diplomacy, and in every way uh, help us to advance sustainability together. Uh, we have a call for contributions that we will go over later in uh, this session, and uh, we hope that you will uh, consider making a contribution to SRI, as I mentioned, in many different formats. The only limit is your imagination. And the deadline for that will be uh, 21 December. We're giving a bit of extra time to allow people that opportunity to be creative and um, utilize the platform to its full capability. I am going to turn over to my sort of partner in crime here, our, um, our co-convener uh, in this series, the Belmont Forum, and its executive director, Nicole Arbor. Nicole? Uh, thank you, Erica, and welcome everybody to this, uh, this hopefully what will be an informative session to really get everybody excited about SRI and the kinds of activities that hopefully you will see there, hopefully will contribute to there. Um, just to give you a little bit uh, and to, to, to add on to what Erica was saying. So as, as Erica mentioned, my name is Nicole Arbor. I'm the executive director of the Belmont Forum. Um, and of course, part of the, the, the Belmont Forum's mission and vision is really around this transdisciplinarity um, piece. And so this convening is super important to us for so many reasons. Uh, and in the past two years, there's been a lot of success, despite the fact that um, the SRI was born in times of pandemic, which all of us uh, have, have lived through. Um, we have had two successful um, convenings up to this point. There's in just in 2022, there was over uh, just under 2,000 participants. Um, there was 900 speakers uh, the, uh, in online and hybrid sessions so that there was opportunities for people to convene for the first time in person because our first meeting in 2021 was entirely virtual um, and, and virtually. So we had over 220 sessions across uh, and had participation from over 100 countries. And of course, you know, as many years, we're hoping to evolve and get better and create more interest and value for the community with time. So as Erica was mentioning, the different types of sessions and, you know, what, what we would like to see is, of course, we want to see an opportunity for the community to to come together, to share best practice, to learn from one another, to to interact. So not just to talk at each other, but to talk, speak together and to create those relationships that are going to help us really make the changes within the sustainability landscape um, that we need to see to, to, to move forward. Um, 
And so with that, uh, and, and without taking up more time for the more important things, I'm going to um, hand over to our host organizations this year. Uh, and, and I don't remember if we asked, uh, decided who was going to go first, whether it was going to be Anna or Milagro, uh, Milagro but I'm going to, um, uh, I guess, because Anna's written on my paper first, hand over to Anna first, if that's okay. Oh, I guess Marcos. Sorry, I said I see Anna's name, but I'm actually supposed to be handing over to Marcos. Please, Marcos. Thank you. My Nicole. apologies. Well we, all, well, we always give the floor to our parties first. Milagro. Muchas gracias, eh, Marcos. Eh, realmente. Thank you, Marcos. We are honored, and we are extremely happy to be part of the SRI. Uh, 2024 and it's great to have the opportunity to host this event in the region for the first time and particularly in Panama. So this is an opportunity that will enable us to share experiences, knowledge and innovative ideas in order to address common challenges by integrating regional perspectives. This will benefit the whole, the entire region and the participating countries as well. This, these benefits will, will be reflected in, by the creation of collaboration networks, create the creation of working groups, also creating strategic partnerships that will enable us to improve regional capacities and also will enable us to address global problems in a comprehensive way with territorial equity and representation as well. This is very important to us. Uh, we would like to add that uh, in this third edition, it is a, um, huge for us to have, you know, high. Uh, region in order to find solutions to common knowledge uh, challenges and also to create regional synergies with other colleagues and other partners from the region. I must also say that the Senacid feels honored to be part of this uh, uh, 2023 event and it will be great to welcome you uh, I would love to become a, a, a your bridge into the region thank you I won't repeat what's been said by Milagro and Nicole we uh, we support their words very very much and I'd like to thank all of you for coming to this workshop particularly the governments because I know how pressed you are the UNFCCC uh, COP and, and and all the other events that are occurring and I'd just like to conclude with a huge, big thank you for Panama for hosting the workshop, for the efforts that they have made, the collaboration show, and really the warmth that they received all of us in the planning of this workshop. And I do hope all of you do make it, and I hope to see you in Panama. Thank you. Nicole, can I jump in for, um, for just a quick addition to Marcos's comments? By all means. Just wanted to highlight uh, um, again that we are very supportive of, of this conference and to show our support, the IAI will be providing scholarships for early career researchers and students from the Latin America and Caribbean re region to participate both virtually and in person. So uh, we are again thrilled to support what we see as a, a very important global convening of the sustainability and transdisciplinary community of practice and hope to uh, encourage, again, the next generation of researchers, community leaders, and policy practitioners to come and join us for this conversation. Thank you very much, Anna. There's one more thing that I just wanted to quickly mention um, on top of that, and that is I think this year is going to be the first time we're going to host the whole conference in two languages, which I'm really excited about. So we're going to have everything in English as uh, as we have in the previous years, um, but in collaboration with our, our co-hosts and partners, we are going to also be hosting this conversation in Spanish. Um, and I hope this is the beginning of more options because 
I, I think a lot of these discussions need to be had in multiple different languages in order for us to be as effective as we can. Um, so uh, I don't know. For me, this is very exciting. I hope it's as exciting for everybody else as it is for me. Um, but uh, I just felt that that should be underlined. So not only is it an interpretation in this moment, but hopefully we will see this as a, a, a growing um, opportunity within the context of the SRI. And if anybody here is a potential sponsor, I would also encourage you to think about what Anna just said about supporting the participation of early career researchers within your jurisdictions, because I think, um, as I'm sure many people here do, that, that that's we, we need to help foster these conversations. We need to help build these skill sets. And some of the best ways to do that is to make sure that those researchers in those positions have access to events like this to build their networks and to build their skills and capacities. But that's not what I'm supposed to be talking about right now. I just thought I'd wax poetic very briefly. Um, so actually, I'm going to ask Erica, since I went on uh, a small monologue, if she would like to start by speaking to the um, calls for contributions and guidance uh, for submitting successful proposal sections or really go through some of the themes and, and help us to start pulling apart what we're hoping um, you will be thinking about when you're submitting your proposals, the kinds of things that um, we would love to see and some of the successes we've had in the past. Erica, please. Thanks, Nicole. Um, I do want to underscore that this is a global convening with reach into 100 countries. Um, so we are very excited to spotlight the region and connect it with the globe. So we do have the opportunity sub to submit sessions in other languages as well. So Japanese, Chinese, French, um, we want to make this an inclusive event. It is not just for researchers, it is for all actors engaged in sustainability, whether um, in the public or private sector, with communities, indigenous organizations, NGOs, intergovernmental bodies, et cetera. Again, no limitation here because sustainability is something we can only achieve together. So um, if you can imagine a convening that brings all of those actors together, that is what we hope for Panama and for SRI. So, um, as you're in that mind space of uh, inclusive action forward um, and really trying to move the needle on sustainability, then we ask you to think about the pillars or themes that we're going to focus on in Panama. Um, the discussion that we had with the hosts who helped shape this event and really put their stamp on it um, include turning the tide for climate, collaborative action for institutional transformation. Um, this is the first theme. You can imagine climate action initiatives, um, the change of institutions, governmental, educational. Um, how can we uh, imagine a structure that functions better to make sustainability possible, that harmonizes laws to ensure that when we're achieving a sustainable development goal, we're actually not um, conflicting with something else. So it's um, intentionally broad to allow you the room for creativity under this umbrella. The next theme is healthy and inclusive communities. So recognizing, of course, you know, the incredible impact that the pandemic has had on us in terms of not only physical health, but mental health, um, how it's impacted families and work, um, work styles, workflows, um, how it may change how cities work as some workers uh, continue to remain remote. Um, while others go into the office maybe a few days a week and others have returned fully. That's only looking through a pandemic lens. This is much broader than that. This is looking at health in, in general, um, health uh, in a changing world, in uh, a warming world, and also um, how we can integrate different knowledge systems around health 
into um, our approaches, you know, whether that's uh, local and indigenous knowledge about health, or that's just different approaches to um, the mind-body system. So, uh, and the idea of, you know, treating uh, health in an inclusive manner um, throughout the community, um, thinking of migrant populations that come into a zone um, and may not be eligible or cannot access uh, health systems in that area, how can hospitals become green centers and think of how they can use nature-based solutions to reduce their carbon footprint? So again, very broad, um, be inspired. And so that I don't take all the thunder of this, I'll turn to Nicole for the next two themes. No worries, I kind of interrupt uh, as and when I feel like it, which I probably shouldn't do. Um, so I apologize for that. Uh, but uh, so there's two other themes that um, that, that have come out of the, the discussions here. The, the third theme is uh, titled A Peaceful Planetary Mind. And this is a, a theme that also very broad. So we want everybody to be able to look at the different themes and see something, um, see themselves represented within that context so that we can have a very broad and very important and sometimes very difficult conversations about the directions that we are traveling in, about the work that we're doing. Um, so this this theme is, is looking at encompassing concepts like environmental peace building, which uh, in itself is really fascinating and may play into some Belmont Forum work in the future. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Um, science diplomacy, so another word that many people are hearing very frequently um, in, in the in, in this space, in the sustainability space, but in the science space in general, uh, culture, heritage, art, spirituality as a resource for sustainability transitions, uh, indigenous and local leadership. So, you know, there's, there's, there's a lot of different pieces. Uh, future literacy is also part of this discussion, but these are all very important topics um, that, that we need to, as a community, come together to think about and explore. Um, and I think we are going to have some fantastic conversations. I myself am thinking about all of the different panels that I could possibly put in under these themes, but I won't because I'm sure there's at least maybe not as many as I could. Um, one, because I'll be busy, but also because there'll be so many opportunities from everybody else at that, and I'm sure there will be any, anything I put in will be dwarfed by all the cool stuff that's coming in. And then the final um, and, and category is, is also a really, really important one, because this is one of those categories that we try to make sure we use this conference and the location that it's hosted in to really showcase and bring visibility to the research, to the work that is present within the, the host community. So this is the Latin America and Caribbean Science and Innovation for Sustainability. So I like to think about this as like, if we, if we think about the other three as like pillars, I think we should also think about this one as a cross-cutting one, right? So I want to see, uh, and I think everybody does, but it would be lovely to see, as we are going to be hosted in Panama, all of the Latin America and Caribbean innovations across all of the themes. So there are many different themes that are specifically highlighted. Uh, many there's there's four different themes that are specifically highlighted under this this thematic. But I would I would. Um, invite everybody to to consider this a cross-cutting theme and to think about, you know, as you're planning your panels, you know, are there ways that you can bring in some of the highlights that you have seen or are engaged with across the uh, Latin America and Caribbean community? Because we want to see all of the exciting uh, innovations. We want to have conversations about uh, the different pieces that you would like to see developed further within the community as well. Uh, and we would like to start some of those complicated conversations um, and, and be part of that where they are needed. So, so those are the, those are the few pieces within the context of the themes that I think are, are important. But I want to actually also invite the other people who were part of this discussion to, to feed into it if they think that Erica and I um, you know, could have elaborated further on some of those themes. So I'm, specific, I'm specifically, not that she can tell, looking at Anna to see if, because uh, she was definitely very involved in these conversations, uh, or maybe Marcos or, or, or um, others, uh, if there's anything else that, that you wanted to highlight within the context of the themes that you would particularly think are important and that we might have missed. Maybe, Nicole, can you remind me what is the name of the theme that's like Latin American innovation and science? I don't remember the exact yeah. name. Of it. 
It's Latin America and the Caribbean Science and Innovation for Sustainability. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get we from the II just want to emphasize that we know that there's a tremendous amount of innovation in the Latin American Caribbean region. Um, many phenomenal groups that are working to, to develop these innovations. And so we are really keen to bring these best practices, um, new findings and lessons learned from the region to this global community. And, and again, would encourage people to, to apply, to submit um, sessions, whether it's to bring together uh, diverse actors from governments and local and local civil society from communities or to, and researchers from diverse disciplines. So just really want to say that we are uh, so aware of the vibrancy of the research and sustainability community, especially in Latin America and the Caribbean and are thrilled to be able to support this opportunity to highlight those advances. Thank you, Anna. I was just gonna say, Erica, did you wanna to touch on the different uh, session types? Uh, would, that, would that work for you? Absolutely. Thanks, Nicole. And thank you, Anna. Um, I love the fact that you brought up innovation in uh, your share there, Anna, because uh, some of the most successful um, experiences we've had in past SRIs is engaging with new innovation. In fact, at SRI, SRI 22, which was held in Pretoria, we were able to play a game online, a sustainability game, and the game was uh, created in Panama by Habitat Games, and um, it was a great way for people to really think about trade-offs with the Sustainable Development Goals. Um, other opportunities include uh, developing apps and demonstrating them with uh, new audiences. You can think of it as beta testing, uh, but there are people that look at uh, carbon drawdown through games. Um, Nicole's colleagues in Poland have walked us through um, a uh, social simulation for sustainability. What would it be like to advocate for um, a, an amendment or resolution um, in an intergovernmental body? And how do you develop the support for that activity? So uh, kind of real world uh, diplomacy and uh, governance. I think the, the key is you get out of it what you put into it. So um, in developing your submission, think about how you can engage your audience, whether in person or online or hybrid, which is a new talent we're all developing, the ability to talk to people in a room, as well as those that are thousands of miles or kilometers away. So um, that might be a great idea is hosting a skill building training session on how to you know, hold hybrid events. Um, we are welcome to all kinds of training and networking. We had a wonderful early career event with African uh, students and um, early career participants in Pretoria. We would hope uh, that uh, organizations would propose similar type of events at SRI. There is the opportunity to engage with funders. Um, if you do not know the Belmont Forum or you've not engaged, engaged with IAI, they have um, uh, engagement with a large number of funding organizations globally and in the region. And so uh, we hope to plan some events that allow exchanges there about priorities, about opportunities. Um, I really think that um, this is a venue to meet needs and to accomplish things. So if you think of uh, an activity that really requires audience input or um, engagement with stakeholders or you know training the next generation, mentoring, uh, this is, uh, an event for you. So we do hope that you will um, explore the different opportunities. Um, we do have awards and special sessions for innovation, particularly for uh, sustainability innovation and for carbon drawdown. 
Um, and that is our idea market and the carbon drawdown prize. So um, we know that there's significant uh, advancement from small business, green entrepreneurs, and we would like to showcase that. And so please do share this opportunity with your friends and colleagues so that we can hear from the full spectrum of actors that are making a sustainable future possible. Thank you. And just a, a quick follow up. So when you're thinking about your proposals, a couple of the, the things that, that our um, program committee will be looking at when they're going through all of the proposal submissions uh, includes things like, you know, making sure that uh, we're, we're hoping that for those um, submissions that are for on site participation, at least half of the speakers will be participating on site, um, that the contribution is particularly relevant to the Latin America and Caribbean audience, because while this is a global meeting, it is going to be good to really be able to sort of showcase and see and participate and engage with the local community. Um, uh, that, that, that the contribution in as much as possible is well designed to suit a hybrid experience. We're all growing in this space. Um, I can tell you my first hybrid meetings were really fun. I'm sure there's some people on this call who can, you know, tell you stories if you ask them nicely. Um, and, uh, and so, so those are some of the, the general sort of very general pieces, but we want solution oriented, uh, uh, part, uh, excuse me, solution oriented, um, contributions that are inspirational, that are cutting edge, that are high quality, you know, all the favorite things that you see at most of these conferences. We want that there be a clear focus on one of the articulated SRI themes, um, that it be sort of new and op optimally super creative and engaging, right? So that there's lots of different people um, or lots of different ways to engage so people feel like they are part of a discussion um, and part of a, a community as opposed to, um, you know, being read to or spoken to. Um, and, and of course, it would be lovely uh, if there was, uh, you know, some sort of output or expected impact um, that could come from these kinds of sessions. But, you know, these are just, this is just to give you a bit of an outline of the things to think about when you're putting together your sessions. And I can see Marcos already has a question or wishes to put in a comment. So please, Marcos. Uh, it's just a brief comment. When you're putting in your uh, sessions or proposals, but to please also remember that the II community that is participating in the SRI also includes Canadian researchers and American researchers. It's very broad and very extensive. And we've got huge capacity. So those regions uh, perhaps with less capacity and so on, it's not only just a possibility of having South-South cooperation, but also triangular cooperation with those uh, states that perhaps have very great capacity. Thank you, Nicole. Of course, I mean, as, as Erica mentioned uh, at the beginning, you know, this is a global conference. We want there to be participation north, south, 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 north, north, all, the, all of the possible opportunities and options there. Um, but I think the idea is that we, we want it to, to bring those communities together and, and together and to think about things as, as, a, as a network, as a collective, uh, and to engage with some of um, these challenging questions. So I'm just trying to see if we've missed anything else that we wanted to, to touch on specifically, but um, I'm sure if I haven't already, or someone has stuck into the chat a link to the different types of sessions that pulls apart, you know, the kinds of sessions as we've sort of broadly set them out with with some some uh, very specific well some some very specific titles. But as Erica mentioned, the limit is to is your imagination. Um, but I think the most important part here is to answer any questions that uh, you might have about engagement with the. SRI, uh, thoughts you want, uh, some things that you might want to have clarified. Um, and for that, I was going to, before, just before I turn over to that, Erica, did I miss anything or did we miss anything on that? Or should we just hand over for the questions? Because that's the important part of the conversation, I think. I just put it in the chat, the, the different types there that are welcome through the portal. Um, if you have questions, do reach out. Um, you know, we'd like to hear from you and make sure that we're not exclu excluding something that would be really exciting um, because we've basically tried to um, open the door as wide as we can with these ideas. Um, but I agree. I think it would be wonderful to turn to questions or comments from the audience so that we can um, hear from you. Uh, 
All right, Anna, over to you. I didn't have a question at this at this moment. Did you want me to? Sorry, Nicole. Should I? Oh no, sorry. I thought you were going to moderate the questions and answers. So this is this is maybe perhaps me, um, my mistake. I mean, as everyone knows, I'm happy to take over the world, but I don't want you to. Uh, I don't. I don't want that to be the 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 what's going on here. I, I don't see any questions yet in the chat. If someone can raise their hand or add a question to the chat. We're here. There is a question in the chat. There is. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, uh, sorry. I, I can um, read it. Can can, can someone, someone speak? speak on, yeah. yeah I see can someone speak on who the SRI audience includes? For example, how many researchers? How many policymakers, etc. Thank you, for Erica and Nicole. Sure. Um, so we have a, about two thousand um, attendees last year, and we hope to grow each year. Um, of that two thousand, about half of them were researchers. Um, we had uh, about even percentages of civil society, um, uh, public sector government, uh, NGOs, um, innovation sector. Uh, the area that we're still really needing to grow is um, sort of private sector business. Uh, so we are making a concerted effort to connect with them. Um, but yes, that was the breakdown from last year. And um, we're hoping this year to have a public day so that we can engage much more with um, the Panamanian community and uh, give that opportunity to um, have two-way exchange with uh, people that are sustainability interested. So uh, I hope that answers your question, Kara. Thanks, Erica. There's another question from Elizabeth. She says, ¿Las propuestas a presentar son en desarrollo o ya culminadas? Uh, the uh, proposals to be submitted, are they, are they being developed or are they already completed? Uh, actually, it's, it can be both. It can be a presentation on your project, maybe your collaboration process, maybe knowledge co-production tools, maybe in TD science, where we would like to know about your best practices, also how you're developing your initiatives and how we can learn from the different regions in the world. Uh, but also clearly, it's interesting to see your results of, of a project or the results of different studies in the project. That's interesting as well. So both options. It can be the process, how you reach, how you reach sustainability, but also the outcome, if that's the case. There's another question in the chat, and I have I have, I'm like, oh, 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 can I answer this one? Can I answer this one? <laughs> sure. It, from Kevin, he says. While the call asks us to focus on one of the four themes, is there an opportunity to clarify in the proposal the ways in which a proposed session touches on other themes? Is this encouraged, Nicole? And the, the big answer is yes. Um, so having come from a background of system science uh, recently, I think that, you know, one of the thoughts that I think of often is how we are all Venn diagrams and how we all overlap and the systems are interlinked. So uh, by all means, please do. Um, elaborate, uh, clarify the, how the, the sessions uh, touch on other themes, um, and think about that when you're developing it. I mean, the, the, we are all interlinked, everything about us, so please. I don't know, Eric, if you have more to add to that. No, I think that's great. I was actually typing something about um, our interest in having a special issue, given the um, question that Anna took on research and whether um, it has to be completed research or it can be in process and definitely can be in process. But for those of you who are closer to the end and have an outcome or an output, um, we are working on uh, developing an open access um, special issue on SRI. So if you would be interested in that, please do let us know. Thank you, Erica. Thank you, Nicole. I see Fanny put a chat in there talking about the different modalities to participate of participation. Fanny, was that a comment or a question? I think that was a comment. It, since Milagro's here, I wanted to know if I could call on Milagro to maybe talk more about what you see as some important topics, especially for Panama and, and for the region. 
uh, from the perspective of Senasid, what do you see as some of the emerging uh, and persistent priorities that uh, we would like to highlight in the submissions here? Milagro? Sí, gracias, Ana. En efecto, Thank you, es... Ana. Um, yes, we had thought about some topics such as uh, pandemic recovery after the pandemic. De igual forma, también aspectos de migración son aspectos y retos que compartimos en la región que son fundamentales para el desarrollo sostenible y la calidad de vida. De igual forma, compartimos eh, los aspectos de cambio climático y aspectos logísticos que son eh, muy valiosos para, especialmente para Panamá, pero para otros países de la región también. O sea que sí tenemos un conjunto de temas de, y prioridades que estaríamos tratando de impulsar de que, de que la región esté presentando, principalmente Panamá esté presentando también en el marco del evento. Perfecto, y, muchas gracias. Oh, perdón, favor, sí, y en por caso, eh, creo que también mencionaba en el aspecto de diplomacia científica, creo no, que. Also podemos... regarding science diplomacy, I think we can highlight some Latin American experiences, as, because we're a transit country and this has had a global impact. And it's important to share this. You know how we can create these bridges between the knowledge created and decision making in order to encourage sustainable development. And this is very important. And also we have the possibility of having proposals in these areas as well. Thank you very much, Milagro. Did you want to add anything to Milagro's comments? Um, I would just like to say to reinforce too that the II conference of the parties, this is all of the governments of the II will be meeting back to back with the SRI with the hope that policymakers will remain and also attend the Congress and have the opportunity to express their needs and priorities of their nations in the region to the scientists that are present. I think this is an excellent opportunity and you'd reinforce very much the comments, Milagro, that you made regarding the Congress. Thank you. Thank you, Marco. Gracias, Milagro. También quiero resaltar que de parte del IAI, Thank you, Marcos and Milagro. I would also like to tell you that in at our June COP, we adopted a new equity, diversity and inclusion policy. And our collaboration with the SRI is aligned with this new policy that promotes uh, this equity, uh, diversity and inclusion within the community, but also within the research questions themselves to ensure that there is evidence generation that supports specific actions that affect especially underrepresented and marginalized groups. Marcos would like to say something and then I would like to give the floor to Erica. She will tell us about how the Congress will uh, actually cater to the EDI needs. First Marcos, then Erica an incredibly innovative policy to attract international organizations to that country. And it's become a hub of collaboration among organizations. And it's our hope that these organizations are also going to participate in SRI. So you'll have not only just the research community, the extensive research community uh, globally, you'll have the II parties, but you also have a very heavy uh, multilateral presence. And I, we believe that this will ferment a, a number of possible new initiatives and projects. Thank you, Anna. Gracias, Marcos. Erica? Thank you, Anna. Thank, thank you, Marcos. Erica. Um, we in Future Earth and within SRI as a brand very strongly support equity, diversion, uh, diversity, and inclusion. In fact, a, an expanded version of that, belonging, acceptance, justice, equity, diversion, uh, diversity, and inclusion. Apologies for my uh, tongue tripping today. I, I put it together and call it Bajeti so that I can say it more quickly. <laughs> but in our themes, we have tied this in. Um, in the climate action theme, we have environmental justice as a key factor there. 
in the health and healthy and inclusive communities, the idea of participatory research, community led research, um, citizen science, you know, elevating the voices of the residents, the people there that are um, acting, that are engaging. Um, examples of this are growing globally where um, research as was quoted in one of our past SRI talks is being indigenized and really highlighting that um, and, and giving voice to those that are the legacy and are essentially the um, keepers of that option, of that solution that will be living with consequences. It is so critical that they are a part of this process. Um, when we think of peace building, again, this is, you know, creating structures that will um, maintain the resiliency of communities for generations to come and um, to look at the sources of conflict um, historically, environmentally, within natural resources, et cetera, and, um, you know, putting them in the local lens. So, uh, and of course, highlighting regionally, Latin America and Caribbean, I do want to give a shout out to the Caribbean, um, you know, they are a, a critical part of this event. Um, and we really want to make sure that the voices from the islands and from the region are present. Uh, so we are working to find those inroads and collaborators there to ensure their presence as well. Um, I I can't say how important it is that this becomes a, a um, inclusive dialogue, that research is there as a member of this community, but in partnership with other actors and expertise and lived experience. And so I hope you will consider that when constructing your submissions. And thank you, Anna, for the opportunity to underscore that. Thank you, Erica. Como hemos mencionado, nos parece sumamente importante que... It's very important that the SRI becomes a platform so that we can transform science and therefore society. And by considering the history that surrounds us, the challenges and urgent needs, you know, that need solutions because we need to face global change challenges and sustainability challenges worldwide. Let's see if there are more questions in the chat. Well, if there are no further questions, maybe we can start closing the session. We'll be sharing the recording with everyone uh, registered to the event. So we'll be expecting uh, your applications. So we're working with a coordination, coordinating committee and many volunteers. Thank you to many of, of you who are here today. Thank you for, for helping with the planning. It's joint effort, you know, and it will take us almost a year to plan this event. Hopefully we'll see you in person in Panama or, or virtually. As I have a already said you can apply to the scholarships there will be scholarships from different sources please share this information with your colleagues and thank you for your participation uh, this event is successful because of the participating community so we're very happy to see you we'll be very happy to see you next year in panama and with that i think we're going to close the session or maybe milagro or marcos erica nicole would like to say something to end the session Anna, I would like to thank you all for this session. And also, I would like to say that we are fully committed to uh, encourage the scientific community, the innovators, and everyone in Panama so that they participate together with colleagues from the region. And it's a pleasure to be hosting the event and to welcome you in 2023. Thank you. Thank you, Milagro. And thank you, everyone. Hope you have a, a great rest of the day. Bye-bye.